today I'm drawing Leo from Neighbours. Um, I'm just spacing out his nose and his eyes and working out where his eyebrows go. got quite a wide face. The ears are slightly above his eyebrows, top of his ears. We come down to his nose, sort of looking where his nose is there. I'll just try and work it out where the shape of the shadow here in his nose. Sort of lines up with his eye. A lighter area here. So I'm just trying to mark it out the shapes. In this picture, he's sort of got a smile that's tilted to one side. I'd say coming down from that eye. Is up a bit. The end. He's sort of smirking. This lines up with his pupil, this side of the smirk, which is higher. I'm not sure if it's that much higher, but it's higher, maybe it is that high.
bottom of it comes in a bit starts really where his nose is I've done the whole thing a bit too close to his nose. Should have probably left a bit more space. And there's still another shape of his nose. A shadow. He's got a sort of dimple here. Eyebrows. Not too far past his eye. Then I'd say this is coming down like this, which means this is a bit too far over. And his ear again is in the middle of his nose, up to the top of his, up to, sorry, up to, he's got a line in his forehead. Some hair. And his ears up here. He's got a shading of inside the ear. And some hairs there. He's got dark hair here. Some hairs coming out of here. A few stray hairs. And his neck. Kind of curves around his cheek, his cheekbone. Um, 
neck follows on from that. This colour. shape of his hair. I think his forehead is slightly higher. So there's a line here. And then I'd say maybe the other. His hair on this side is over his ear. So here we've got dark area. A dark area and then a light area here. So shadow comes down here under his chin. So I like to draw it as a shape. Seems a bit strange on the face, but it is there, so I like to draw it. This light area comes up here. His jaw is just squared off about the same level as that side. And he's got his jaw coming down there. And his neck on that side, just around the corner a bit. his jacket there's a lot of shading under here there's a bright patch there. There's a lot of shading just under his chin.
I like to make that darker to def define his chin, but actually in the picture it is more difficult to tell. Where the definition is. Maybe Adam's apple. Maybe here. Now, if I do some more of the shading, I should start to look a bit more like him. Put the pupils in. Shaving down here. And then also around his nose here. This side is much lighter. On the bottom lip he's got some light so I'll just shave it in here I'm going to sharpen the pencil. Let's get this 
some shading under his eye there. few eyelashes. few eyelashes on this side. Just thicken up his eyebrow. Just do the shading on this side, which starts up here. Comes down here. So it might seem a bit strange to have. A line on his face like this but it actually works and the shading is also on this highlight there and then he's got lighter area here lighter patch which actually comes down a bit more like that and then darker again here where his jaw is He's had a bit of stubble.
just some of the lines I've used as guides. He's got a bit of shading under his lip. I'll just try and make his lip a bit more defined. And he's got a bit of shading here. And it's dark at the corner of his mouth as well. Slightly, slightly darker shading here, so I can shade that in. Likewise, a bit of lighter shading here. There's a bit of shading here, very light. Face. Face 
just as hairs looking back like this. It's just very dark so we can just shade this in dark. On the other side there's more highlight in the picture so it's got his hair going this way. It's darker at the edge. I'm drawing the shapes where it's lighter.
some light bits in the front and some more dark on this side. 